Well, it seems that Mark's on the Grill has taken a turn. What the heck's going on here? It's, it's, and now it's called Mark's on the Floor now. <laughs> hey everybody, my name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Hey, did you join us yesterday? Do you remember what happened? Remember when we took that big 15 pound brisket and popped it in our Bradley here? Well, I'll tell you what, 21 hours later, that sucker was ready, man. That's how long we let that guy smoke. We programmed it for nine hours and 40 minutes where the smoke on the outside and then let the Bradley's electric heat <laughs> cook the rest at 225 uh, without the smoke going on. And now usually at, uh, at the rest point, the uh, stall point about 165, about halfway into the, uh, into the smoke is when you would wrap that because you don't want extra smoke flavor on there. That's the cool thing about that Bradley is uh, you can control the smoke. How cool is that? In my chill chest here, I got, I got it. It's, it. The gold is in there, man. It's been resting for about an hour and a half. We let that happen. You're going to let your brisket uh, uh, rest for up to four hours. And the reason that we did our brisket in this one, I mean, as, a, as, a, as our little test, is like I wanted to see if we could take a, a smoker that's, you know, this different, this advanced, uh, and, 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 you know, kind of test the uh, uh, intuitiveness of the user interface and all that kind of fun stuff that we like to do here on the show. What it bottoms, uh, you know, bottoms out to is, can I take it out of the box, stuff something in it, hit a couple buttons and be done with it? And, you know, a lot of smokers, uh, a lot of grills, a lot of uh, Kamado grills, any type of thing, the answer to that quite simply is no. There's a lot of things you have to do, you know, in that 21 hours to make sure that everything goes smoothly. You got to, uh, you, you know, check pellets or wood. You got to, you, 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 you know, poke around here. And they, there's, there's a lot of things you have to check. You know, make sure the auger's feeding things properly. So you do want to keep an eye on it. I got to say, I didn't do a damn thing. Nothing. Set that sucker up, told it to smoke for nine and a half hours. And guys, that was it. Came out uh, every now and then and, and, and checked on it. So here's what I want to do. Um, uh, we want to do something a little bit different tonight because we want to try something different in our smoker. So before we get to all the things we did this afternoon and pulling this out, we are huge fans of old fashions. All right. So this is kind of neat for us. We don't, we don't drink a lot on the show. Heavy after, but not a lot during. Okay. So we figured we'd try one of our favorite drinks uh, at home, seeing as we got this sucker. Uh, when we go to the bar, they make these old fashions. It's, it's a pretty simple drink, bourbon, bitters, an orange peel. I uh, usually have cherries that soak in stuff for a while. Uh, and, and a nice big fun ice cube, right? But then, for an extra three or four bucks, these guys will smoke it for you. And it's a neat little machine. It's like a little handheld gun guy with a tube that comes out. And it's got a little, uh, kind of like your grandpa's pipe, right? It's got a little thing there where the sawdust goes in. You light it, it's got a fan, and it blows smoke into a little chamber that they've got. And they stick your glass in a chamber and blows all this smoke in. And I'm like, that's pretty cool. We have a smoker. And we have a smoker that doesn't have to go to you know, 150, 160, 180 degrees before it starts smoking because the smoking system is different than the heating system. So you can keep the temperature low. So I figured, boy, howdy, let's try this. So let's try this, all right? Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. I, I got some decent bourbon. I didn't go nuts. You know, it's our first crack at this. I'm not gonna, not gonna waste the real good stuff. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this a nice size. I would say that's about an ounce and a half glass. So there we go. That's a good size. Is that, is that they call that two fingers or three fingers? Yeah. Eh, who knows? <laughs> and I think it's all about surface space. All right, those are pretty good pours. All right, let's split one more. We're at home. All right, no one's driving. All right, it's not going to kick in by the time I play with the electric knife. So who cares? <laughs> There we go. So I think the secret, like I said, is surface space. We want to get as much smoke in there in as little time as we can. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take this guy, and we've got this smoking like crazy. I wouldn't put it in in the glass. I would go ahead and try something like this so you get a lot of surface space. So we're going to let that guy hang out for about... Five or ten minutes, okay? And then when we come back, we're going we're gonna to make our drinks. We're going to slice into this. Uh, we're, not, we're not going anywhere. Uh, so I did want to share with you what we did a little bit earlier today because there is one step that I did take uh, on the way to our finished brisket, and that was after it was done, getting it ready to rest for that 90 minutes to four hours, okay? You don't want to just take it out and throw it on the counter like a turkey, all right? The bird, not you. And just have it sit there because it's it's not going to do what you want it to do. So uh, we're going to do a we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, hop a little bit into the past and and say hi to past Mark, uh, who got this all set up for us. Okay. Thanks, future Mark. Uh, I'm I'm glad we made it that far. Uh, man, it's really nice here in the past. It's very calm and cool and collected. You already know what happens. So, <laughs> but let's talk about our brisket. Hey, listen. Uh, 21 hours ago, 
we put a brisket in this guy. I programmed it for nine hours and 40 minutes worth of smoke. In any other smoker, that would have been the time when I wrapped that sucker and put it back in for the rest of the cook. Even though it used smoke and wood for the rest of the cook, I wouldn't have wanted to get the smoke on the food. Well, with this, I didn't have to. So for the first time in a long time, I've done a brisket without the wrap. Pretty fun. All right, so let's have... Oh, and also, we set the temperature, I think, at 226. I mean, within two degrees, that sucker's been perfect all day. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, you're going to notice quite a bark on this, and that's on purpose because today is National Coffee Day. Did you know that, Sweeney? No. It's National Coffee Day. It really is. How cool is that? Now, this temperature probe here was coming in at about 196, 197, but I've always said... The time is nothing more than a guide, all right? What you want to feel, you want to feel like one of these probes go into it like it's butter. And just because it's 194, 195 in there, over there the temperature is going to be harder. The bottom line is this right here. Oh, like it's not even there. So I know that's done, okay? So here's what we are going to do. We're going to enter into our rest period now, which is going to bring us up to future mark there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this brisket out of my smoker. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, it's jiggly. Look at how jiggly it is. That is perfect. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So throughout the process, about every hour after we uh, stop the smoke, I've been giving this a spray with uh, apple juice. All right, just to kind of keep that moisture in there. So let's get that nice and glistening and beautiful. And then I'm going to take that uh, uh, rub with the coffee rub, National Coffee Day, and go ahead and put that on there just a little bit extra because I really want that flavor to come bursting out. And that coffee rub is one of the reasons for such a dark bark. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right, let's go ahead. We're going to tuck and roll and tuck. There we go. You're pretty. You're pretty. And now, yeah. So, that's one part of it. Now we're going to grab a towel. Make sure it's not a towel that can ever get you in trouble with the Mrs. or Mr. Get the word on that one. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And we're going to pull out one of our favorites over the years, our chill chest. There we go. You can use any cooler you want or that second towel, that ever-elusive second towel. Let's get that in there. Pop it up. And that's that. So listen. I'm going to send it back to Future Mark, who I think has some fun going on with the bourbon. Hi, Future Mark. I mean, hi, Future Mark. Past Mark's a, a fun guy. I like him. So uh, that's what we did this afternoon, you guys. Uh, and and it's, it's sitting in our chill chest there, and it's ready to go, and it's fantastic. So let's get uh, the stuff ready we need for our drinks here so we can enjoy the way along. I got the, I got the big ice cubes. You got to do those. We got two fancy glasses, but of course don't match. Nothing in our house matches those shoes. Let's the glasses. That's just how it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put those nice, fun, giant ice cubes in there. I have one for the repeat shortly after. There we go. Very nice. Uh, let's take a little bit of our bitters. There we go. You don't want to go crazy with this. Uh, some people use orange bitters. I like the uh, aromatic. Uh, we're already putting an orange peel in there. Nobody has to go crazy. There we are. I think we have. Oh, Tr Trish is. <laughs> oh, I like how Trish takes chances, man. Look at that. That's fantastic. Now, like I said, normally we'd smoke these guys, but let's just. Uh, here, it's an adult, little adult cocktail there with a cherry in it. Fun stuff. All right, so we got that. We got that. Now, let's grab our bourbon. Uh, by the way, up top here on this one, most smoker, the smokers will have this. There's a little dealy that controls the amount of smoke that comes in and out. It's a little vent. If you're going to do these uh, uh, smoked old fashions, I suggest that you go ahead and uh, close it so you keep most of the smoke inside. So Trish from Clearwater, who is also a lovely camera lady, asked, does it heat up your bourbon? Well, again, that is, can I put my finger in your bourbon? Perfect. See, it's it's room temperature at best. It's fantastic. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Per, so let's pour that in there. Oh, whoa, hello. What the heck? Somebody get somebody over here to help with this thing. There we are. One of those. Perfect. Woohoo! That's going to be a good brisket. That is lovely. So now, we're all here to see if it picked up that smoke flavor. Here we go. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. Well, I smell it. I caught it. I toasted it. <laughs> and I smoked it. That's fantastic. That, that should do for the evening, I'm thinking. So let's pop our our uh, our liquid courage right there. It's very lovely. And let's clear a spot, because I do believe it's brisket time. All right, here we go. We're gonna pop in our chill chest here. And we're gonna bring out our towel that we saw a little bit earlier. There we go. It's starting to get excited now. Here we are. And we're all got Perfect. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I guess the right side up. There we go. Jiggly and perfect. I love it. Oh, I can hear the dogs barking. They're upset they're not part of this. So, let's flip this around. Let's go ahead. Yeah, that first part off. Now this, look at the juice coming out of that. Isn't that beautiful? This is where we, I, I kind of like to start with burnt ends out of here. Now, what you're going to notice right off the bat, and I love this, Guys, there's no smoke ring, okay? And if you've been watching this from the start, then you're gonna know that that whole smoke ring, the whole idea behind that is when you cook with wood, that is the heat source, that smoke ring is kind of caused by the chemicals in the, uh, uh, in, in the wood that burn up and go and, and kind of surround the food. So this is that part of the brisket that I use kind of for uh, like sandwiches and subs and things like that. And the reason is, of course, it's a lot thinner than what we're getting to here in the uh, in the flat. So you don't have quite as juicy as a result because you've taken, a, you know, you don't have that fat cap in the middle or that fat layer in the middle. But what you want to see, this is what you want to see, you guys. When you fold this, oh, look at that. Let me tell you, kidding with this, it just absolutely pulls apart. So this is the part of brisket here that I love to use for like the uh, uh, poutine that we make and all kinds of fun stuff. Chop them off for burnt ends, put them in a little bit of sauce. So let's just go ahead, take those right down, just like that. Perfect. So when I use my thermometer, I always kind of put it up here in the thicker part. So you do expect down there to be a little drier than what we're getting to. So once we get here, this is what we're looking for. This is where we kind of want to stop because this is what's going to happen. You're going to get to that part here where that fat layer is in the middle. And this is always the money shots on the brisket. It's because uh, as soon as you get into there, that fat's rendered down and it's just a juicy, beautiful mess. So we're going to pop this to the side. Whoop, other side. And we're going to start slicing this. Here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Go around the other side, Chris. Yeah, right over here. See this? And pause here. This is where everybody kind of picks it up and does one of those. That nice big squeeze where you see all that juice. And we've got the perfect bark. We've got nice tender brisket. In fact, let me get my glove off here. And we've got that incredible flavor. But what we don't have, because we were, oh, this is so, look at this. Holy cow. That melts in your mouth. That just dissolves. Holy, here, I'll feed you. I, I got the chef fingers. Mmm. Look at that. Holy cow. All right. You got it? In the mouth quick. Isn't that good? Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. Holy cow. Let me go ahead. What's that? Isn't that something? So, guys, this is just right out of the box. Brisket in the smoker. Turn it on. Apply that smoke for about nine hours, and you're going to get these incredible, tender, beautiful results without... The little ring that's formed around on the inside from the chemicals that are released from the wood when they burn. Remember, it's electric heat keeping this up, and there's a separate system that deals with that smoke. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, yeah. I know my buddy Gus is watching. Mm. And he's like, save me some for tomorrow. I'm going to do that. Wow. So we're going to use... Mm. We're going to use this side of the brisket for a lot of our dishes, sandwiches, poutine, everything that we kind of make with our brisket. And then this is the part that when you have people over, we love to serve 
for our family and friends. This is always everybody's favorite over here. Look at that. That is just tender, juicy, perfect, just beautiful. Oh, wow. Well, guys, mm, that was so worth it. That was so worth it. Mm, 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 mm. Cheers to an easy brisket, a great dinner, a beautiful camera lady, and a fantastic audience, you guys. My name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's in the Grill. These are the best, largest, old-fashioned you've ever had. Give me a chink. Where are you going? A little chink there. Chink. Perfect. Guys, my name's Mark Gill. This is Mark's on the Grill. Hit that uh, uh, subscribe button because over the next few days, we're going to be using this for some of the, just the, 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 the best brisket sandwiches and, and just stuff with brisket ever. It's just going to be fun. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. My name's Mark Gill. This has been Mark's on the Grill. It's been a blast. Look at this right here. One more money shot. Let's give him one more money shot right there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful oh my goodness that's fantastic love it thanks guys see you next time